Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be working on the 67 Beetle, hopefully finishing up the body work. There's not much left right now, I'm pretty much just block sanding uh, with that really tiny block that I was expecting to be bigger, uh, but you know, we're going to make it work. Uh, I did one last skim of some polyester uh, uh, icing, USC icing, you can see it over there. I had to use Red Harder, that's why it's not that like light blue color. I'm just doing some block sanding, like I said. Doing some work on the front fenders. I found a little ding, filled that in. Might need another scam on that. Don't mind the mess. I know someone's gonna talk about that. I try to keep it clean, but I just, I can't. There's just a lot going on in here. So, uh, under the hood, not really gonna mind any attention to that since uh, it's not painting in there. And you're never gonna see it. Have to block sand on this uh, porter over here. The roof is pretty okay. I don't plan on doing anything drastic to that. Hood, it is a bit wavy. I might put a skim of uh, the icing on. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, I'm going for driver quality. I'm not looking for Greenwich concourse level here. But uh, we'll see. Like I said in a previous video, the primer I'm using, that uh, Kirker Perfect Prime, I'll zoom in on that, it is a high build primer, so it should fill out some of the waviness uh, if it persists. But we've got to block sand and stuff on this. I have not forgotten about the 68. I am still working on this, trying to get it running. Um, there should be a video soon. I know I said uh, last week I was working on one. And I am, um, but uh, we've run into some issues. Hopefully we'll have them solved with uh, some spark plug wires. I don't think those are in working order, which is why I'm not getting any spark uh, to the plugs, but I am getting spark at the points. All right, so right here, this is the quarter panel on the driver's side of my car. Um, it's not terrible. It actually probably didn't even need to get block sanded, but uh, I'm doing it anyway. Black, even though I said I don't want uh, concourse level, black is going to show a lot of issues. So I will try my hardest to uh, get it adequate. Now, this is the block I'm using. It's a Dura block. Oh, upside down. It's a Dura block AF4400. They also make a 16 inch block, which I uh, considered, but uh, this should work fine for here. 16 is probably what I would do on the doors. And if I find one locally, I might actually pick it up. But here is the paper I'm using. This is two and three quarter inch pressure sensitive paper. This is Dura Gold paper, which I think is made by the people who make Dura Block. Um, I bought all this stuff on Amazon. Uh, this, this paper has a backing on it so that it's not sticky here, and so the grit is rolled to the inside. I have seen paper, I think Norton makes one, where there is no backing and the grit is on the outside. But this is 180, this is what you would use to sand down uh, the high build primer. This is also what I'm using to sand down this, even though I probably could be using like 220 or 320 um, in preparation for primer. Primer has a base, it uh, says it recommends 400. Let's start sanding. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to hold the block. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this well. I'm gonna get a strip of paper, and then I'm gonna take the block. You wanna stick the block, uh, you want the side butters down. So I'm just gonna get it the right length and uh, cut it. Now if you wanna bend these blocks, Dura blocks, they do bend, although not very, uh, much it's not like a, this is not a soft foam this is this is pretty solid stuff and it will bend uh, very lightly but you would want to do that before you stick the paper otherwise the paper will unstick itself and these make a nice crisp edge on the paper it's very good now this is a curved panel however I'm not really uh, I'm not putting a bend in the block 
and I'm going to use two hands. And we're just trying to get this guide coat off. It was gumming up the paper, so I just let it set up for probably two or three days. We're going to press on both ends, and that's just that's enough of a bend. We're going to go right. Angled like that. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to set you guys up uh, somewhere else so I can move around. All right, so you guys are set up. It's kind of cramped here. I'd prefer if this car was like, you know, on a nice tiny little scissor lift. So this was here, but uh, that's impossible here. So we're going to make do with what we have. All right, so I've moved outside, maybe a little darker. Um, but there's just more space, it's less uh, uncomfortable. I took the uh, rear fender off, so now I can just move around a bit easier. So uh, let's get sanding. It's a little dark, but it's easier to move around, it's better. But you can see, this is that icing. And you can see these are all high spots, which are now leveling out. This is an insane low spot, which I don't recall, but it's obviously there. So, uh, but having a block this big is really, uh, it's very useful. When you're using the shorter blocks that are like uh, this big, you're gonna miss stuff like this. When you go with this, it levels it all out. I think you get the idea. But notice how it's wavy, like I said, but this still isn't gone. It's still not leveled out. Please. Casting a pretty uh, orange glow. It's not that crazy in real life. But this is also going to help me see, because uh, I, I couldn't see the uh, metal. If I burn through paint and filler to metal. I don't really want to be sanding it. This feels very flat though, except for right here. So hopefully a few coats of high build will finish that one off. All right guys, we're gonna start working on the door now. Should, uh, should be pretty flat. I'm not anticipating much, uh, much to do, and if there is anything, the uh, high build should take care of it as well. I'm trying not to get in your way. right here there's some roughness pop open the door this is a uh, this is what the PSA paper should look like about on a properly sized block all right guys so I'm pretty much done uh, sanding this I've got one spot on the bottom of the door that I'm gonna have to put a little more filler on just to uh, Smooth it out perfectly, but the door is all sanded, and the uh, this side's quarter is all sanded. I have to do the roof, which I'm going to do with the block. Um, if you don't remember, there were a few dents like here on both sides. I got those pretty much flattened out, so I'm just going to use the block on the roof with the 180, then six, 
I uh, gotta stand up here, gonna do the fenders. Fenders are uh, so so. These ones, at least, back fenders, no problems. Just gotta uh, sand them and uh, seal and prime. But making headway, almost done. Hopefully, soon it'll be uh, primed and painted. But, you know, I anticipated that I would be done block sanding by now, but it's just been freezing. I've got one of these uh, in here. It's 45 degrees, even with uh, the heater going. So, what are you going to do? Uninsulated. That's the problem. I had to get those door insulation panels or something. But, anyway, uh, that's going to be the end of the video, unless I throw something in. But, uh, Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe uh, for more Volkswagen stuff. That 68 should be running soon. And uh, this 67 should be in paint soon. So if you're interested in either of those cars, make sure to subscribe. And if you want, ring the bell and you'll be notified uh, when I post another video. But like I said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.